Hi folks, Dane here, and today I've got something super exciting. So this is my TBR for the 2018 Rereadathon. So this is something that's created by Catalyst Reads, and I'll link to his videos below where he explains it all. Basically, it's a year-long rereadathon. The idea is to get you to reread some of those old books that you um, might not have gotten around to rereading. And there are challenges each month. You can pick and choose and do as many or as few of them as you like. And I'm going to do my own spin on it, so I'm going to do it all listening to audiobooks. Specifically because with audiobooks, I only ever listen to audiobooks if I've already read the book. And equally, I would prefer to physically be reading new books. So throughout 2018, I'm going to physically read new books and then I'm going to use audiobooks to hit my rereadathon goals. Instead of trying to do all of the challenges, I have decided to do one challenge each month and I've picked a book out for each of those months, which I'm going to take you through now. Obviously, with audiobooks as well, they're kind of less freely available than regular books. So quite often, I've been limited in my choices somewhat in terms of I can only pick a book if the audiobook is available, but nevertheless I'm pretty happy with what I've got. So I'm going to go through each of the months and tell you what each of those challenges are. I'm then going to tell you which book I've picked as my reread for that month. And then what I'm probably going to do along the way is also do some reviews for some of these rereads because it will give me a great chance to do reviews for books that I really want to talk about but that kind of aren't fresh in my mind. So I'm pretty excited about this. This should be cool. This is the stack of books that I'm hoping to get through. Look at me, I have a beard. I haven't shaved, that's why I've been lazy. So this is the stack of books that I'm planning on going through. Just to give you a sneak peek. I'm going to pop them there so I can pick them up. By the way, just before I get started, all of this info is below if you want to check the information box so that you can just, you know, copy and paste into your own notes or whatever. If you are going to take part in this, please do make a video and let Michael from Catalyst Reads know because, again, this is his... This is his big project for 2018 and I'm super excited to be kind of supporting that and I think you should too. So like I said, each month does have multiple challenges as well. I'm just going to read them all off, off the bat and then I'll tell you which one my books kind of address. So for January, reread your favourite or one of your favourite standalone books of all time. Reread your favourite book that is a part of a series. So I'm going to go for Philip Pullman, Northern Lights. So this book isn't a standalone. It qualifies the book that's a part of a series requirement. This is also known in the United States as The Golden Compass. And basically, this is the first book in Philip Pullman's His Dark Materials trilogy. And that's my favourite sort of series of all time. So I'm super excited to be starting with this one. So February is reread your favourite book you read for middle school, high school and college, university, etc. So I picked Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, The Sign of Four or The sign of the four depending upon which edition you get so this was required reading for my London and literature module at university when I was studying creative writing and this is the book that really got me into the Sherlock Holmes story so I'm excited to be jumping on back in because I've read all the Sherlock Holmes stories now so I kind of it's not that I forget about them but this is a nice opportunity to jump back in after it's all kind of done if you know what I mean for March, reread a non-fiction book, autobiography, and a memoir. I think this almost qualifies as all three. I've gone for Bob Dylan, Chronicles, Volume 1. And I haven't actually checked who does the audiobooks. Apart from one of them, I know that one of them is done by Kate Winslet. That's the only one I know, bizarrely. But I'm kind of hoping this is read by Bob Dylan. But even if not, I'm sure it'll be awesome. And I read this pretty recently, but... Um, it's the first book that jumped out to me when I when I read the challenges. For April, reread a book that confused you and or you had mixed feelings about. So I've gone for The Shining by Stephen King, and I've gone for this because of the mixed feelings element of this question. So The Shining was the first Stephen King book that I ever read, and I didn't think much of it at, at the time, at least. And um, it just took me ages to read it, and I just didn't enjoy all the backstory and stuff. And it put me off Stephen King, and I didn't read any more of his work for about two years. And then I read another one of his books, and then I got hooked. So I kind of want to reread this one to see whether it was just that it wasn't the right time for me as a reader. You know, will I, as a Stephen King fan now, will I enjoy it more, or will I still not think much of it? I guess we'll find out. For May, reread a book that is a guilty pleasure. And for this one, I have gone for. Enid Blyton, The Enchanted Wood. So this is the first of the Magic Faraway Tree series books. This is the one that's narrated by Kate Winslet, actually. 
and I just have really good memories of this. The only problem is is that I think in the audiobook they've gone and made the changes, so they changed this book because they have characters like Joe, Bessie, fine, Fanny and Dick. So is Dick in this one? I don't think Dick is in this one. I think Dick is in the next one. So this one's just full of Fanny. Um, for June, reread a book that you hate or felt disappointed by. This is another one of the London and Literature books, funnily enough. And this is Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. And I just really struggled with this. And actually, this, this book, I broke my rule. I actually listened to the audiobook of this before reading the book because I got about a third of the way through the book, but there were deadlines because it was a university course. So I had to listen to the audiobook just to finish it. And then I finished reading it and still hated it. And so this is technically, I guess, my third read of it. Um, but perhaps I'll like it differently now, who knows. I, I, th I feel like I'm still gonna hate it and June is just gonna be torture all month. For July, a reread a book written by a woman, reread a book by an LGBTQIA author, and reread a book that has a theme of diversity, so race, ethnicity, and culture, etc. So I tried to combine a few of these and I went for To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. I've actually not read Go Set a Watchman and I, I probably won't, but you know, five star obviously for To Kill a Mockingbird. And I've read this already. This is one of the few books I have actually reread. And I have also listened to it on an audiobook, but I'm gonna do it again. So it'll probably be about the sixth or seventh read for me. August, reread a graphic novel or manga, comic book, short story, and a poetry book. This was difficult because I'm doing audiobooks, so that cut it down to short stories and poetry books. And there aren't many audiobooks of poetry books. So, when I'm thinking short stories and poetry, I think Charles Bukowski, who is one of my favourite authors. So I basically looked up Charles Bukowski audiobooks, and the only audiobook I could find for a Charles Bukowski book that I've already read was Hot Water Music. So I'm going to be rereading Hot Water Music by Charles Bukowski, which is a collection of short stories. September. Reread a horror book, a classic novel, and a self-help book. So I've gone for a classic horror, Dracula by Bram Stoker. For October, it is reread a romance book, reread a science fiction book, and reread a fantasy novel. Now this could have also been my guilty pleasure, but what the hell? This is A.C. Crispin, The Paradise Snare, and this is set in the Star Wars Expanded Universe. Actually, since Disney bought Star Wars, they declared all of these books non-canon, which means that they didn't happen, basically. Which is a shame, because there are like hundreds of these books, and they're all really like skillfully interlinked and all written by different authors, it's insane. But this first book is just one that I have really fond memories of when I was a kid, and it's the first book in the Han Solo trilogy that explores his backstory. So I thought, why not? I'm gonna reread and yeah. November, reread a controversial slash problematic book. So for this, I thought I'd pull out some non-fiction as well, and I've gone for The God Delusion by Richard Dawkins. Fun fact, my book blog, socialbookshelves.com, the highest day I have ever had for traffic is when I posted my God Delusion review and Richard Dawkins retweeted it to like 700,000 people or something. Um, obviously the God Delusion is very controversial mainly by people who disagree with what he says. Also, also you know, Dawkins style, it does kind of beat you around the head with it. It's pretty brutal, but I think it works. And I read this two, three years ago, or I don't know, whenever it was a big thing, I read this. And um, yeah, I think it's about time I gave it a reread. And for December, reread any book you want from any genre. So I thought I'm gonna really challenge myself in December and I'm gonna go for the complete and unabridged The Stand by Stephen King. So this is the longest book I've ever read and I loved it. And I did even say at the time, I was like, I haven't had enough of this. I could happily read more of this. So anyway, that's my TBR for the 2018 Rereadathon. Like I said, be sure to check out the video on uh, Catalyst Reads channel. You can see all kinds of stuff, including he's done a roll call and his... You can kind of actually... What's cool about it is that you can see the process because his videos are very much... You know, they're unedited and very, you know, it's just him talking to the camera. And so you can see how the ideas have developed over time and how this has all come about. So I'm going to link to a few different videos below, but be sure to check those out. And if you do decide to take part in this, be sure to let me know and leave a comment. Also, let me know if you've read any of these books and if you're going to reread any of them with me in 2018. I'm all up for buddy reads and stuff. So let's do that. In the meantime, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.